Hi everybody, this is Rosie from Enjoy Yoga and RosieGlow.com and I'm sitting with my lovely friend Michelle and we're just about to have a cup of ceremonial cacao. Uh, we've actually decided to have 42 grams each which is a ceremonial dose in the lowest extreme and we've got these lovely, lovely, beautiful cups so if you can see them, uh, mine's overflowing which is my state generally of grace right now. Um, but what's really important is to, if you are drinking your cacao to really get the most out of it from both a physical and also a spiritual perspective is basically to set an intention and as you set an intention you are asking basically to be led where you need to go to support your journey um, right now so what we do know about the cacao is that the cacao diva helps to open your, your heart and helps you to connect with um, areas of your consciousness that might really support your growth at this stage the two things that I've heard about the cacao diva or the cacao spirit that really blow my mind are one, when the world is out of balance it is said that the cacao spirit comes out of the forest to restore balance and then when balance has been restored she goes back and that's why we've lost all the information there could possibly be about the um, spiritual uses of ceremonial cacao since the Aztec Mayan times. Um, the second thing is that she's a very gentle teacher, so she'll basically take your hand, lead you to the door that would be very helpful for you to go through, but she won't force you to go through it. So this isn't like a sort of whack round the head kind of spiritual awareness trip. Um, this is not a hallucinogenic trip. You can drive, you can do all your normal stuff, but if you allow yourself to connect in meditation or with a friend through talking, through having an intention that you want to work through, um, then you'll really get a lot more from it. So on that note, we're going to drink our ceremonial cacao.